parachutes. Have you ever thought to yourself, man, parachutes are awesome? I know I have. We did a little experiment on them. You should try it out. You will need a garbage bag, a ruler, some scissors, four bolts, four twist eyes, some string, and a stopwatch. First of all, cut open the garbage bag to make a flat sheet of plastic. Ah! Second of most, cut four different sized squares. One should be 20 centimeters in length per side, another 30, another 40, and the last 50. You can do this by measuring along from the edge of a corner, fold the plastic into a triangle, and then cut. Unfold the triangle, and you have yourself a nice juicy square. And if you lay the squares out like this, they look pretty. Your next step is to tie a knot at each corner of the square. The knots will anchor the string. Now cut 16 pieces of string, or 4 strings per parachute. Each of these should be about 40 centimeters long. Tie a string to each corner of the parachute. Tie above the knot. Now collect all the strings in the center of the parachute, and tie them into a nice, neat, tidy knot. Your next task is to take a twist eye, slip it through a bolt, and then attach it to the knotted string. Make sure to do this for all the parachutes. Now that you're done making all of your parachutes, it's high time to find a safe spot at least two meters off the ground from which to launch them. Use the stopwatch to time how long it takes for each parachute to land. Do three trials for each parachute and average the number of seconds. What's happening? The force of gravity is pulling upon the bolt as well as the parachute. The parachute is creating air resistance, also known as drag. The bigger the parachute, the greater the drag. And thus, the largest parachute will fall the slowest to the ground. Built by the S-Mag Project Crew.